Welcome to the 365 CEO Podcast. I'm your host, Rachel, and today we're tackling a fascinating topic, creating a collaborative work environment. In this role, it's our pivotal duty to nurture a culture where teamwork is not just encouraged, but flourishes. As CEOs, we often find ourselves at the helm of not just business strategies, but also company culture. And let's face it, a collaborative work environment is a bedrock of innovation, productivity, and employee satisfaction. It's where diverse thoughts intersect to birth creativity and where engagement thrives. So what can we, as CEOs, do to kindle the spirit of collaboration? For starters, we must walk the talk. It's about being the exemplar of collaboration. Solicit ideas from all tiers of your organization, promote an open-door policy, and cherish the myriad perspectives your team offers. Effective communication channels are non-negotiable. Whether it's the latest in collaborative tech tools or old-school face-to-face meetings, the goal is to create a web of connections across all departments and all people. Recognition also plays a pivotal role. When we celebrate the fruits of collaborative efforts, we're not just praising outcomes, but reinforcing the very behavior that will become the cornerstone of our organizational culture. Now, it's not all smooth sailing, silos, resistance to change. These are but a few hurdles on this journey. Tackling these requires a mix of strategies, from cross-functional initiatives that make silos obsolete to education and transparent communication that alleviate the fear of the unknown. As we round off today's chat, my parting advice is simple. Transparency, trust, and empowerment. Cultivate these values within your enterprise and watch as collaboration evolves from a concept to a living, breathing aspect of your daily operations. Remember, it's a journey, not a sprint. For those seeking to delve deeper into building collaborative environments, I recommend The Culture Code by Daniel Coyle and Crucial Conversations by Carrie Patterson and colleagues. These books offer excellent insights and practical advice. Online platforms like LinkedIn Learning and Coursera are also brimming with resources to further sharpen your leadership and teamwork skills. And with that, we're at the end of today's episode. I hope you've gleaned some valuable insights into fostering a culture of collaboration that can take your organization to new heights. Remember, collaboration isn't just a business strategy. It's the heart of a thriving workplace culture. Join me next time as we continue to explore the multifaceted role of a CEO. Until then, keep leading with courage and collaboration. Make sure to subscribe to our podcast and leave a review. Your feedback is what helps us grow and improve. Please share feedback with us via our website, social media, or by emailing info at the 365ceo.com. Your insights are invaluable, and they could feature in our future episodes. I'm Rachel, signing off from the 365 CEO, your strategic advantage.